Welcome back everyone, my name is Chris. I wanted to take a look today at a uh, AEG that's been in my collection uh, for quite a while now. Um, these actually, as most, most of you watching probably will know, are no longer in production. This is the PTS, uh, previously Magpul PTS version of the Magpul slash uh, Remington uh, Masada or ACR rifle. Went through a lot of different names and nomenclatures, uh, a lot of different ownership, transfer of the the manufacturing and the ownership rights, etc. So, um, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of different names and stuff for it floating about. But yeah, uh, I owned it for a long time. First couple of times I skirmished it, which was a good, I think now, I'd say a, a, at least three years ago now. And um, basically, the stock internals, most of the internals were fine, but the some of the electrical system parts, mainly the, the micro switch that actually uh, actuates the trigger and sets the whole system going, that had some problems. Um, so it ended up sitting in my uh, in my locker inside for, for a very long time because basically it would fire a couple of shots and then just die because the uh, what had happened was the micro switch was all sort of like coked up and, and covered in carbon and stuff. Uh, but eventually, uh, it took me a long time, eventually I found someone uh, who was very knowledgeable on these particular guns, uh, sent it off. He had a look inside, figured out what the issues were with the um, that micro switch and the motor as well that had suffered some damage. So I had a nice new micro switch, brand new motor, all new set of wiring up to the handguard here, and just a simple MOSFET installed. This doesn't have some of the fancy features, some like the BTC MOSFET stuff like that, but it does help uh, give a much increased longevity to all the electrical systems, particularly where the, the trigger area and the, the switch and of course the trigger response is very very much improved without the rate of fire uh, in full auto mode being absurd. Um, externally uh, I figure I'll probably get quite a few questions about this so the, the paintwork is just Krylon uh, camo matte paint. I use the olive drab forest green uh, tan khaki and brown. It's a combination of just a, a mesh bag and some uh, some pine or some uh, plant material off an evergreen tree uh, just laid on a few different layers uh, just have at it really and yeah you create quite a nice uh, camouflage effect you see this is the PTS the shortened 11 half inch barrel this has got a PTS three prong 51 tooth flash hider on there so you can fit a suppressor quick detach and then at the rear here we've got the stock which folds and adjusts plus the uh, sling point option here at the rear of the base of the stock. Just a replica T1 optic does the job. Um, Chinese made one for an AEG that has no recoil. Does the job just fine. Charging handle has been switched over to the right hand side. I just prefer it that way. Um, gets far less in the way of put the Magpul rail sling attachment just up here. So you can switch from having a one point up here to having a two point using those two. Um, so yeah. Charging on the right hand side, ambi bolt release still works just as it should. Magazines totally empty just for today. Um, there's a bit of a myth that goes around that like dry firing EEGs is going to wreck them for some reason, as, as if I'm not sure what it is that having BBs going through the system somehow like cushions the blow or what I, I, I don't know, but it's not the case. But um, yeah, just got a uh, 7.4 volt nunchuck type lipo in here very standard it's about 20c discharge rate and uh, as you can see on the semi-auto mode very very quick I, I pretty much can't pull the trigger in semi-auto quick enough to make it lock up it's not really doable and the um as i say it's, it's a fairly basic mosfet that's been fitted it's nothing amazing i haven't changed the gears the motor isn't some massive high torque or high speed crazy thing it, it's all fairly standard but you can observe it's uh, i'll try i'll try i'll use my paintball finger like a noob to try and demonstrate but it's uh yeah you can't lock it up and then in full auto it's, it's a it's a good rate of fire but it's not crazy um, nice you know pack uh, fairly lightweight package certainly it's very it's very compact with the with this stock fitted in a shorter barrel i generally will use the uh, real size plastic handguard that pts came out with i find that's actually better in that i can then fit a light up here 
whereas the rail the system stops here but I just wanted to show the rail just for the video today. It is a nice skirmishing weapon especially now that I've got the electronics sorted out on it uh, just just works very well. The, having the ambi magazine release is good you can very quickly switch handguards uh, the stock's very versatile, being folding and adjusting, and with the uh, adjustable cheek riser on top here. The selector is a particularly good feature because it's 90 degrees turn from safe to semi, and when you want to go to full auto, it's just only about another 45 degrees more. So it's instead of a full 180 arc, as in an AR-15 pattern rifle, you've got a much shorter overall throw from going from safe all the way auto and then back again. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching everyone, um, appreciate all the subscribers and all the thumbs up and all that good shit. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, links down in the description box, do basically daily updates on there, got all sorts of stuff going on so check that out. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching, see you next time.